I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thank you for joining me once again on my channel on data engineering and data analytics. In this episode, we're going back to our data engineering playlist and we're going to talk about how to format dates in SQL Server. Now, uh, SQL Server, of course, like most of the dialects, uh, you know, from Oracle or PLSQL, uh, Postgres, you know, uh, having all their own dialects and things like that. Um, it's different in, on each platform and so SQL Server is no different and it turns out that there's two good ways that you can you know methods that you can use to format your dates and uh, whereas it used to be a little bit frustrating on older versions of SQL Server uh, newer versions from SQL 2012 and over uh, have another function for formatting dates which is really great and so you have two methods to choose from and that makes it nice and easy for formatting your dates. So without further ado, let's get to our date formatting in SQL Server. Okay, so for this example I'm using uh, SQL Server Management Studio and I'm just using my YouTube stuff database that I've got on there uh, in my server <clears throat> and I'm just going to create a table very quickly here and I'll just call it uh, uh, my date ID and I'll add a field that's an integer and sort of a, a, a auto number identity and a primary key just so we have that in our table it's always good practice to put a primary key in your tables and then I'm just gonna put a date in there so my date is field and then I'll just make that a date time and uh, we're gonna put some some dates in there just so that we can do some uh, date formatting so what I'll do is uh, I'll uh, go ahead and create that, and uh, and uh, there we go. That's created a table for me. So now I'll just insert a couple of rows here. I'll go insert into my dates, um, <clears throat> and then uh, just the the date field my date, and then I'll say values, and then uh, <clears throat> I'll use a multiple insert here, which you can do uh, for any database systems after. Uh, SQL Server 2008, <clears throat> but if you're using uh, earlier, uh, you'll have to do separate insert statements uh, for each of these. Um, SQL Server 2012, obviously, and up, you'll be able to to use the uh, the multiple insert. Actually, SQL Server 2008 and up, you'll be able to use multiple insert. So I'll just add uh, January 1st, 2019, and uh, February 15th, 2020, and uh, March 16th, 2020. 21 and I'll put a time on there of uh, 2359 um, <clears throat> and 10 seconds and uh, and and then I'll add one more I guess uh, <clears throat> something maybe a little bit later in the in the year and for that date I'll do something in say November and you'll notice that I'm actually inserting these using US date format since my system uh, does that so it's it's month day year as the insert uh, string for uh, for my <clears throat> statement but uh, uh, you can also use ISO date and things like that uh, as long as it uh, resolves correctly so <clears throat> there we go we've got one insert statement and we've got four date rows that'll go in and uh, and I'll run that one and then we've got our four rows so now we can go ahead and we can select from that table and uh, and we can start to look at you know the dates and the date formatting so if I just go select star from my dates there you go so this is what we get in our output um, the auto auto number or identity field has created uh, our primary key and as well we have four uh, rows with dates in it and the first two have no times those will be <clears throat> counted as being 12 uh, midnight and uh, the but the other two do have times on them and so uh, that'll that'll shape how they look when we apply some formatting to them so in method one of two here I'm going to use the convert function and uh, it is uh, a function that you can use in older versions of SQL server uh, and newer versions um, uh, however it is not quite as convenient uh, to use as the newer one which is method two of two uh, but you can use this one for all of them so we're going to convert and our first argument uh, will be a, 
uh, of our car and then we'll put our date field in for that row and then 100 is sort of like the argument for the date <clears throat> that we'll specify to give uh, at least for that particular one it's going to ask for a four uh, character year but also it shapes which output that we get so you can see there's the output for uh, 100 and you can look these up in the Microsoft documentation as well um, but as you can see uh, this one has uh, it's a Jan 1 2019 at 12 a.m. and I'm just gonna go and, and comment out the rest of that stuff so I can do this very quickly as I cycle through these so now I've commented out my uh, the, the stuff up above there I don't need to recreate the table and all that stuff but I'll leave it there uh, but now we've got one statement and uh, if I hit F5 you can see now I can go 101 and you can see the different um, <clears throat> date format there down below which is uh, that's a US date format so that's uh, month day year and then if I change to 102 you can see that uses the dot format uh, 103 uh, gives it in uh, day month year uh, which is European I think and uh, uh, also the dot format for 104 uh, 105 gives dashes in there and that's a day month year as well if you want to use spaces but have uh, alphanumeric month you can use 106 uh, 107 appears to give uh, <clears throat> some alphanumeric but in different orders um, 108 was a time 109 uh, looks like it is sort of a long format uh, which is which is nice to have sometimes and uh, 110 will, will drop the time entirely and give you the uh, the month day year but with dashes uh, 111 um, does uh, year month day with slashes 112 is uh, I think I believe that one's ISO and it does it in uh, without any intermediate characters or alphanumeric characters and uh, 114 gives a very basic time here and uh, you can see that's a 24-hour clock and uh, we can continue on uh, we'll look at some further ones. They, uh, 120 is one uh, that is uh, good for ODBC um, if you're using open database uh, connectivity. Um, and uh, you can see that it gives a 24-hour clock uh, with, uh, with a four-year date. Now, if we all, there's corresponding shorter um, values that you can put in. So uh, zero gives that one. Uh, 1 will give the same as 101, uh, but with a two-character year or two-digit year. 2 does the same thing as uh, 102, um, but with a two-digit year, and so on. So uh, there are shorter forms of the date um, uh, that allow for a two-digit year, um, which is useful for uh, which is useful for some cases. Now keep in mind that SQL Server uses 2049 as a cutoff date, so if you put 49 into the date, it'll interpret it as 2049, but if you put 50 in as the date, it'll, it'll interpret it as 1950. So that's an important uh, detail um, for you to, uh, to look at. Now uh, moving on to uh, method 2 of 2, and here we're going to use the format um, function instead of the convert function and this is from SQL Server 2012 and up and uh, uh, now you'll be able to to use sort of a if you've used .NET or or uh, VB uh, you'll notice that there's familiarity here um, with the function um, where you can just say format and put the date in and then specify using alphanumeric characters uh, what you would like that to be in so I've done that here so uh, now month uses a capital M um, uh, because uh, uh, the small m is used for, for something else. And so make sure uh, when you do your, your uh, months, you're going to use a capital M. So you can see, as I put below here, I've got a four-digit year with an alphanumeric month of three, three alphanumeric characters and, uh, and my day. Um, so this is a very common format um, that's used um, 
in, in many places, but not all. And uh, you, can, uh, you can change it however you would like, as long as you use the characters correctly. For example, I could uh, do a two digit year. And if I hit F5, you can see that gives us two digit year down below. And if I wanted to say add my uh, time to it, I can go HH and then MM, and that's where your small M's are used as opposed to capitalized M's for the month. Um, so um, if I put a capital H, that'll give a 24 hour clock. Um, so be careful that you don't just put the small one like I did there. Uh, you have to put it to uppercase unless you're going to put um, after it. You can put the uh, uh, you can put AMPM, which I'll show you in a second. Um, and uh, but say I wanted to do lower, uh, like a 12-hour clock, I can do that. I can go HHMM, and then um, as you can see, we have a nice uh, formatted date with a two-digit year and our times with AMPM on there. Uh, we could add the seconds on if we wanted to, if you're being a little bit more precise. And that's how you format dates in TSQL on SQL Server. Hope you enjoyed today's discussion on how to do date formatting in SQL Server. If you like what you saw today, please give the video a thumbs up. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet. And when you, when you do, make sure you click the bell uh, when the bell pops up so you'll be notified of any new content that I put up. And if you have any questions or comments, please put those in the comment section below. Have a great day, have a safe day, and I'll catch you next time.